Yo, what's up, troops? Yo, there's a war going on outside. No man is safe from. And the name of this video is going to be The Dilemma of the Instagram Dream Girl. Is she an RFM? Let's find out. All right, so as we know, women are right now, if you take a look at the social media, any one of these outlets and these, these uh, communication okay, divisions of internet, speaking, communication as far as um, uh, relating relationships and all these dating sites, uh, mostly women are on those sites, right? And all this IG, kick, whatever, women dominate social media for the most part. I mean, guys, we do business part. We do the business part. We have a lot of, we have a good handle on the business end, okay? Logical based systems we do. Again, this leads to, um, I want to talk about the, the RFM, which is red flag material, okay? And it can be a problem for guys, okay? Women are very, we're visual, okay? There's, there's the phones and our computers and it's very visually stimulating, okay? And when you're not busy, guys, and you're not on your purpose, and you're not, you ain't got shit going on, this is very easy to fall into this trap of, because the porn industry, of course, exploded, okay? So, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot more opportunities for everybody, okay? Not just women, everybody. So don't spend your time, you know, validating these women and doing all this other shit, like, online or for hours and hours and hours. And I'll tell you why, because it's, it's easy, I get it. I get it, it's so easy to do this, all right? Um... But women, again, with the computers, women, again, they're, they're smart, right? So they're already, they're already computer savvy. They're, they're, video, they're phone savvy more than we are. They know all kind of tricks and all kind of ways to get you, to lure you in, okay, visually, okay? A lot of, a lot of times these girls use, they use the outlets. They use all social media outlets. They use the, um, the, the emojis and the Instagram and the chats and the kick and the, the Snapchats and um, blogs and forums or whatever, whatever's out there, they use all materials, okay, nothing's on Tinder and, and Match.com and all these other Bumble and all that nonsense, they're all available to these girls and they use them, okay, so, you know, what happens for that is uh, you get caught up because a lot of times, now these girls are using Instagram more than the other ones, you know, it's very popular, Instagram took a lot of speed, Twitter and Instagram, but pretty much Instagram, you can do a lot more on Instagram, right, as we all know. So, and you, you find these, and a lot of times now, these girls are creating like a net, right? A vacuum to suck you into their vortex a lot of times. For example, if you're on, uh, like, I got friends like, you know, on dating sites, you know? You go, yo, I met this girl on so-and-so or this one or, you know, whatever, you know, whatever site, you know? And it's like, yo, check this out. She's bad, right? She's bad, she's bad. I'm like, she all right? She look good, you know? Nothing wrong with that, okay? I mean, I have an Instagram account. You know, most everybody does, you know? Um... And I do follow people on my Instagram, but only people that I know that relate, that I speak to, I've spoken to. And even then, I don't respond to a lot of the stuff they put out there. Because they always, always get flack because of that. But I'm busy. I don't have time. Listen, I don't have time, and you shouldn't have time, to be checking everybody's Instagram. You know, right? I, I don't have the time. You know, unless we're going somewhere that way that night, or when I'm invited to an event, an event, and the DJ is like, you know, boom, boom, boom. A lot of times I have a lot of DJ um, connections and stuff like that. And, you know, in, in the field. I've been in the field a long time. So, you know, over the years you see people and you go, oh, snap. Oh, what's up? You still blah, 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 whatever. So you buy a little community like that. So I do support, okay? But what I'm talking about is getting caught up. Like you go online, for example, don't get the women free validation, okay? Because they're marketing. Now these girls are going to like, now the Instagram um, now they're becoming like models, you know, they're, they're quote unquote models, you know, they're putting you know, gym wear on or whatever, just the regular, you know, they're, they're not, they're, they're, they're still dancers, but they've expanded their business, which is good. I mean, it's great. Nothing wrong with that. You know, it's great to, you know, I'd rather them model and that and, and put some productive stuff into what they're doing, you know, it can't just all be everybody showing their ass because everybody's doing it. I mean, even your girl, the, Little Miss Valley, Sweet Valley Purebred, she's doing it too, okay? But now, you you know, if you look closely at these uh, Instagram and stuff like that, you know, they're starting to show more, um, um, like, slippage, and they're getting more and more scantily clad, if you know what I mean, okay? A little more revealing, 
okay? So who knows in the future what's going to be like, you know, just all out, you know? But again, women express themselves. Can't fault them for that. But what, you, what I can fault you for doing is being online forever for hours on end and not being on your purpose, okay? And some of the ways they can get you, they get you lured in. And it's not really, you know, we're visual. They know how to attack us and hit us in the mind and the brain and in our second brain, you understand, if you know what I mean, to get us sparked and get their attention. That's their job is to market and get and lure you in. They're very fucking clever. I mean, you got to give them credit, you know? If you're there for three hours, four hours, and not doing what you're supposed to be doing in life, they got the marketing end kind of sewed up there, right? It's like sales. It still does to this day. That didn't change yet, right? And then ain't going to change, okay? Some things don't change, guys. Some things are generically hardwired. Like I keep telling you, like I teach this stuff here. This is hardwired. This will be here forever. Ain't going to change much until robots get here. And even when the robots get here, they still women still going to want an intimate connection. And like I say, you know, they still want romance, guys. I don't care what no coach is telling you that this and that. They women want romance. Women, romance is the glue. Romance is the glue. Okay. I don't care. You ain't gotta be in love, but you gotta have those loving traits. You gotta have that displayed for her in that moment. You gotta do that, man. All right. Getting off of that. So, um, so again, now what what that does for them, you know, you're on the internet, you're giving them free validation because you know, they, they're getting emotional spikes when you do that, you know. Hey, you know, uh, I like you. And it, and what they do is they ramp it up. How they lure you in is they go into these dating sites because guys are looking for dates, right? So if you're vulnerable and you're searching, women use what they got to get what they want, okay? I don't care if they're teasing, okay? So a lot of times it's teasing because these girls... Well, you go on, you're on a, a site or something and they go, hey, handsome, or hey, hello, how are you? You know, and you go, oh, wow, she's reaching out to me. And you pull up and, hey, how are you? Oh, shit. And you wait for it to come back. You understand? And you wait. Oh, wow, she, you know, she's bad. And you go through her pictures. Now you're getting invested in this one person. She got your attention. All right. Most women, you know, when you send something to them, they don't, you don't get a response back. You, you get a high or something like that or maybe, but it doesn't go anywhere. OK. However, women are when they attract that, they attract us visually and they go high and they reach out. We get this different response and they know that we respond differently. OK. Because we say, oh, wow, she's into me. You know, wow, let me see what's up. And then, so now you're watching the pictures and you respond, you say something to her like, uh, you know, I don't know, whatever your corny response is going to be, something corny, uh, hi, how was your day, or some stupid shit, right? And then she'll say, she may not come back for a couple of days. See, now you're waiting. She's running game on you. See, the internet, she's running game just by saying hi to you, okay? Now, what does that do for her? That gives her free validation, okay? So, and she's got other guys, she's probably got a thousand messages on there that she's going through, okay? So, now... Without you really get, without you getting a real response from her, you got now you're giving a validation. You wait a couple of days to check in the message, nothing, nothing back. You send another message. Um, hope, hope uh, everything. How's your day today? Hope today's a good day or whatever, whatever corny shit you're gonna put out there. And then she goes and she comes back to you right away, right? Boom. Oh hey, or whatever. Later, day next day, whatever. But now she comes back. Hey, you know, uh, I'm not really on here much. Um, you can catch me on so and so. And it's either cake or something, but usually it's IG, right? You uh, hit me here. I'm always on. I'm always on IG. Da, 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 da. Let's talk there or whatever. Whatever they say, it's kind of like okay, this is no good anymore. This is just not. You know, meet me here. We can talk as long as you want. You go. Oh, good. I'm gonna follow. So what do you do? You go over. You click, and you follow. Okay. Then you see she's got about I don't know, ten thousand followers or. 100 followers she's a newbie you know or 50 followers whatever and then you 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 follow click on you figure hey 50 followers maybe she'll respond to me she might she might but again the, the point of the matter is to get her numbers up okay if you're if you're reaching out to her and she's not responding back to you you're just part of her, her validation you know what I'm saying you're you're actually giving her 
And it's, it's what I call, you're giving her an emotional spike. Because now, that's, emotion, that's, that's an emotional spike. I call that uh, uh, validation masturbation. You understand? You're validating her for free. So she gets validation masturbation, which is an emotional spike. She feels good. She goes, wow, I have a fan base. You understand? Without value. She didn't give anything out. She didn't get nothing. She just said hi and got the value from you. So someone like that, she's not going to respond to. Because you. I just said hi. And he's already, you know, following me. Da, da, da. So, you know, but it's a, it's a game. It's a numbers game, guys. It's a numbers game. Now, can you have IG account? Yeah. With people. I have people that I, talk, that I actually know or I met out and I respond, oh, follow me here. Or I, she'll follow me or we'll follow each other. It's an even exchange, but you know we I do see them time to time, and people a lot of times they'll say, "Hey, why didn't you you know I responded? You didn't call me or whatever, or text me or whatever." Oh, I saw that thing. It was cool. Oh, I'll do it right now. I do it right in front of them. Bang! I like that. Boom! Whatever dog or whatever cat, kids or whatever. But a lot of those people are real people. I, I actually know them. You know, a lot of those girls, um, they're, they're really bar maids for the most part. I don't fuck with. I don't like the, the stripper thing. But the bar usually that bar. They're barmaids, cause and and I don't know about everybody else. Like I said in another video, the baddest girls are the barmaids in New York. You know that's that's the new thing. You know I don't know about everybody everywhere else, but in New York we don't really we we really deal with. The, they put the baddest chicks, are the barmaids. You know they're right there in front of you. They're not way over there. Where you throw them money and shit. The the barmaids they get money too. They get more money than the strippers get actually. It's been a kind of a problem in the industry, but hey, that's what it is. You know. You know, okay. The hottest girls are serving you drinks. That's that's my opinion, and I think most people in in our area would say that would agree. So that's the name of the game right there. But again, now we we'll go back to the marketing part. But now what they'll also do, you see those barmaids saying, "Hey, I'm at this club," or "Hey, I'm over here." Hey, I'm here. Hey, I'm there. And these guys just keep feeding the pot, feeding the pot. Now what's happening is you've got even a regular average girl even your your girl you know she's got a, a instagram account you know hey you know catch me on instagram maybe she's saying it maybe she's not but she can get validation from other strangers that you don't know okay she may have had people on her ig before she met you she's not gonna delete everybody because she met you you understand so that's part of the game you know but what happens with that it's, it's still again she the women all women are getting this validation you gotta be okay with it guys I'm not saying she's gotta be disrespectful to you and you be okay with it. All I'm saying to you is this is you start what happens is that spark of dopamine they get from you. You know, hey, you know, she's gotta follow her numbers are going up. She gets a spark of acceptance. You understand? By her peers, you know, her numbers are going up. And also what happens, you start falling to the fray because she spoke to you, hey, meet me over here. On, on this Instagram site, you feel special. Like, oh, she invited me. Oh, cool. I'm going to do that. With no intention, she had no intention of talking to you or meeting you ever because you're a fan now. Okay. You just gave her validation, masturbation. She's all about getting that, getting that next follower, getting that next follower. You understand? To build her numbers up. So you're doing, and you're doing that. You know, now the point now that becomes a red flag material. That's, that's a, that's bad news when you know. Damn, I called her. She talked to me one time. She said hi. That's a lot, you know. So she got my. She I got. My, I'm on a radar somewhere. Now that becomes a red flag. That's why I call it RFM because your dream girl, that fantasy girl, if you have, she's create this dream girl's created a fantasy because what guys and they know this. Women know this shit innately. They know the minute she goes hi or how are you or you know hey handsome or whatever, this stucks in your head like oh wow she called me handsome. I'm gonna oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna follow her. Hell yeah, I'm gonna follow her right away. And now you're playing, you're running this whole thing. For those, those three days that you didn't, she didn't talk to you. You're saying, "Wow, she's a nice girl, got good kids, this and that." You're building a fantasy about this chick you don't even know on Instagram. Got it? Don't be that guy. There's a lot of guys sitting home doing nothing. Don't be that guy, or, or sitting there online all day long. Okay, don't be that guy because now you chase by you chasing this RFM. She's red flag material now because you, now you you from, come out of your frame and out of your world to start chasing this girl. Every morning clicking in. Did she check? Oh, see what she's doing. Now you're watching what she's doing, or she's she's playing with a dog, and she's in the pool, or whatever, which is fine, 
if you have time for that. But who has time for that, guys? You should be on your mission and purpose in life. You don't have no time for that, man. You got to be your best self. You can't be your best self if you're sitting here watching her live her best life. Ah, you see? That's dangerous because it becomes a red flag for you. Because, and, and as you as you know, these women don't get that far in life. When it's, if they, if very few, I say 4%, really less than that, but I say 4% of them actually take the marketing and succeed and, uh, and marry well. Okay, even when they marry well, a lot of times these girls, they'll marry a simp or a beta that's really got some bucks. I mean, real bucks that can fly them hotel, this, that, and Dubai and all that stuff like that. They go on Dubai every other weekend or some nonsense. Or got a place in Dubai, a place in Florida, a place in California, or something like that. But, you know, you're not going to be that guy if you're definitely online watching her do her thing. She knows that. Because if you were that guy, she'd reach out to you on her Instagram right away. She'd be fantasizing about you, not the other way around. So if you got to go on Instagram and she's not hitting you up, all right? Like, hey, what are you doing tonight? This is that. You know, you're just a fan, man. That's the cold, hard truth. I hate to break it to you like that, but the coach got to tell you how it is. You know what I'm saying? You got to be. You could be that guy, though. You could be that guy. You can definitely be that guy. So, it ain't going to stop by you sitting there watching her do her thing, living her life. If, if anything, let them motivate you to keep going. You know, that's what I do. The ones that I do know, oh, did you see me do that? I was on this, this and that. So, oh, okay, boom, boom, boom. You know, oh, you're back in town. Da, da, da. I'm going to be here. Come to this club because we're all going to have, you know, usually when I go, I go to VIP. All right. And then we, the, the DJs, whatever, after when the club closes, I'm usually still there. We're, we're still having, and they all come over. We all, we all, you know, you know, hang out or whatever. But it's not like, you know, it's a, it's more, not personal, but it's kind of more of a, I think of it as business, really. To tell you the truth, you know, but so all it can be is business, guys. That's all it can be. You know, look, treat this as business. If anything else, learn how they model how they do their thing, model how they, they market themselves. Look at who's doing something new. That's what I do. They got the, 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 the marketing and how they're putting a new product out or doing something different. You know, if you want to think of something like that, but you got to add value. These women are not adding value. Got it? That's why it's red flag because at the end of the day, 20 years, 10 years from now, you know, they're not going to look that great. They ain't going to be that high. And all they're going to have is this little claim to fame of they're doing little thing, thing, thing. But some guys will still get, they'll still get the simps, they'll still get the betas, but they'll get the ones with money that has that has a lifestyle that they can actually live up to. You won't be that guy. I want you to be that guy. You should want to be that guy. This way you may have your choice of women, not someone that's been ran through, that's got crazy body count. Because she's going to get bored and you cannot keep her happy. I don't care what you're doing. Because you got to live the fantasy of all the guys she's been with. You got to beat and, and hit her at the apex of all those fantasies, of all the stories, and the helicopter rides, and the trips to Divine, and trips to the Caribbean, and a trip over here, and a trip to Sweden, and all this. You got to have all that encapsulized in yourself. Okay? Very hard to do. Okay? I, I ain't got time for it. I know I can't do it. You know, not right now, maybe one day, but that's not my goal for not for no, not for no run through. And that's not me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're not running through, it's not you, but no disrespect to the girls. But if the, if the shoe fits, you know, if it don't, don't try it on. But my point is about you guys. Forget about them. I'm talking about you guys. I want you guys to get this and lock it in. Okay. I always tell you lock this shit in so you will get this shit so you know what the fuck to do when. And how you going to do that? Not by watching the video. By getting on your on your mission and grinding it out, grinding out this shit, you need to find out, figure out what you want to do, how you want to add value to life, what can you do that you're good at, you understand, and help others with. Do that shit. I don't care how long it takes. Get started. Once you get started doing that shit, you're gonna feel good. First thing, research the material. That's the first thing you do. Okay, I like this and that. Let me gather my information together. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, you gather it. Right. Next thing you do, which you can do right away, is take care of your health. Go to the gym, pick up a habit. Okay, I don't care if you go to the gym once a week. As long as you physically get up and do something, it's going to change your mindset. And that's what we want to change your mindset. Say, so you know what? I'm going to go to the gym and pick up a book on this, this right here. Pick up a book on that. Read up on this. 
investigate this right here. I love this the mechanics of this right here, how this is made or this is done or how this is created. You know, I'm going to help people do what? You know what I'm saying? So try to bring value because value is the ultimate. Yeah. Value and will give you the social status. Social status is the ultimate shit. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. But you want to, the, the, the caveat is that value. Okay. This is not going to give you value on Instagram looking and shit and standing for four hours. It's, and you could have been doing a lot of things in four hours. Four hours is a lot of fucking time. Half a day. Who got half a day to do that shit? I don't have that kind of time. I'm trying to get these fucking videos in. This is giving me a hard time. But got to get it in, guys. So, with that being said, I want you guys to be your best. You got to be number one draft pick. You got to be number one draft pick. Women do the choosing. You got to be first choice. Flat out. The best of the best. Yo, you know what? In her world, you're number one draft pick. Because you are. In anybody's world. Okay? So, you know, if you're going to look at Instagram, give yourself a time limit, you know? Half an hour, maybe. Damn. You know, less than that, but that's generous. If you do an hour, then do an hour, but learn something. I mean, try to see what they're doing. If it's something that you're involved with or, you know, if you're into networking or you're into some photography, that's different. You know, you can take that and, and incorporate that in your in your business. Throw your card out there in the hat and, and kind of mix, you know, I know for photographers too. So, or you're in music. Okay, that, that helps too. So, if your genre is this atmosphere, I'm in field. So it's kind of in my field. It's in my work, in my realm of work as well, because I'm in field a lot. You know, that's why my videos are. I don't come in video every five minutes. I try to get the videos out there, but I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta do some shit tonight. But I gotta get this video in first. Okay, discipline. All right. So keep that in mind, guys. Listen. So I want you to be your best. Okay, be your best. Push. Just keep. I don't care if you play the video again or whatever. These I have a live. Look at my other videos. Um, hope they help you. They should. If you do like I tell you to do, if you do half the shit I tell you, even a quarter of the shit, it's going to make a difference. You do a couple of things, 10% of everything on the videos, all these videos, 10% of them, it's going to make a difference. You're going to feel the difference. You know, when you walk into a room, it's going to show because you've got, you're not empty. You, you're building something. That value is here. You've got it inside. Find it. Find it. You know, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Show us what you got, man.